Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our mini-series, or at least so I call it. I hope it's gonna be a mini one because I'm a little bit scared. I've just learned that the new update, the update 5, is coming out in about 6 days from now, at least from the day of uh, recording this one. But yeah, okay, so with our series over here as well, let's bring back the UI real quick. And it seems beavers are back to work now, aren't they? So the very first thing I wanted to mention is actually a big thank you to you guys. I mean... We were gone for almost a year, and um, you've not really heard anything from us, uh, what we've been doing, how we've been playing any games, so yeah, we definitely were playing some games, but we weren't really able to record, so... But I'm super grateful for people like yourselves that, even after it's been almost a year, and you see the next video drop, and you still come back, comment on those videos, I just want to say that I don't really know how to describe it in words, but it... But it definitely made me uh, made me super happy as well. So, yeah, big massive thank you to all of you guys and girls that are still with us, even though it's been such a long time. Now, you had some amazing recommendations and some comments in the previous videos as well. But again, I have to, uh, I guess I have to apologize a little bit because I was so super excited to start recording and uh, and uploading videos that the first four episodes were i think they were recorded pretty much in the space of 24 hours so so yeah i uh, i believe i have already replied to all the comments i've read them i've replied and there's some really good ideas so first one i think uh, i had also almost forgotten let me just hide the ui real quick and um, since this map has so much water it would be amazing to build or have another go at building another beaver Venice, which we did, I think, a very, very long time ago. It's the first time we tried the Iron Teeth, I think. And then the idea, too, was to build, since we are talking about the Italian style already, we might as well try and build, a, like, a Colosseum. I don't know where exactly, but somewhere over here. With the beaver Venice as well, we got those lovely lakes in here, but I'm not entirely sure. If this lake is big enough, we could build it here. If not, I was thinking this could be our next uh, option, perhaps. I mean... Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one, but but yeah, we will see which lake will become the the next Beaver Venice. I guess in some ways it's nice if it's like out of the way a little bit, but at the same time it would be good if it gets really busy as well, so we see lots of beavers running around. But yeah, let's uh, let's figure this out together. Now the next thing we could build here, since we are, you know, doing some uh, Italian styles already, we could do a Colosseum as well. So that was a great idea. With that one, however, I guess somewhere near the Beaver, Beaver Venice would be would be nice. But uh, what would be amazing if uh, there was a mod that uh, brought us gladiator beavers, so we could have them battle on the arena to entertain their fellow beavers. And then uh, also another thing, since this map is relatively flat, at least uh, uh, on the inside. I mean, outside. Yeah, we we seem to be on a bit of a bit of a mountain. But uh, it would be cool. I think no map is complete until there is a waterfall. I guess this is a tiny waterfall. But in the future, yeah, we'd uh, definitely love to find some ways how to create some more waterfalls here. But okay, I can't wait to try out all those amazing ideas. But first, to even attempt at something massive what we just discussed before, we are going to have to do a little bit of preparation. As you can see, the village is a thriving pretty nicely there's some little old jobs here and there we do have i think four vacancies left so it would be nice to increase the population by a little bit and the farming is okay we got tons of food yeah the newest addition over here certainly has helped us quite a bit the next thing we might have to do is uh, just creating some more storage for water as well and maybe building a couple more water pumps too okay so as we said the Colosseum and Beaver Venice are most definitely going to require a lot of logs. Right now, our production area, I think I'm going to speed up the time whilst it's uh, nighttime. And look at this, we've got some nighttime scuba divers over there. Scuba beavers, here we go. And uh, yeah, so our farming area for the trees is, um, you know, it's, it's quite sizable, but this isn't going to keep us keep us going for too long oh no there's already a trout coming as well but um let me just slow it down for a second so what i'm thinking is metal production is going to be here yep that's where we are going to build it and there is a lot of space in here now there's a lovely little forest starting to grow in here but unfortunately it is the wrong trees so i'd like to extend this road 
and build another another area and I guess it would be good to also have some uh, beaver pots as well but uh, we'll have to investigate what do we need in order to start building this now the same on this side of the lake here as well I'd like to put some dams over here and perhaps you know control the flow of the water or maybe just raise it a little bit can we raise it oh no this is pretty low on this side which means yeah okay we would have to build quite a few levees around here if we were to prefer a slightly higher lake but no we don't need this right now what i was trying to say is there's lots of trees on this side too so i have put down a couple of lumberjack flags so yeah we got two over here and we're slowly starting to devour this little forest what's the matter nothing to do in range what do you mean i'm pretty certain there's a few trees around you okay why don't you take down these ones as well okay fantastic now this area over here all this space i don't think it's gonna be enough but let's uh let's give this a try so i did say i'd like to check out the district crossing as well and see what happens we have enough science oh yeah we got 15k right how big are you you are not as chunky as I thought you might be. Okay. So, <laughs> I think we are going to have a slightly more direct route in the future. And if we cross over, I mean, we could already do it here. This seems to be like a lovely spot here, actually. So, okay, let's uh, tidy this up. And as soon as it's done, we can, we can build our district crossing. Just like so. Here we go. A couple of beavers have arrived. And the maples are about to go as well okay oh i see so it's like two different buildings very interesting i could create through as well balances goods between the two connected districts each side has its own workers that distribute goods between the district crossing and the rest of the district they get a bit of a carrying bonus as well so that's uh that's lovely all right so not really sure how it's gonna go with the district crossing but we got the roads down I uh, just need the the stairs over here done as well, which I don't think... Well, let's see how they're going to balance those resources. I have no idea how this is going to work out. But I guess we could do a district center. Well, they can't go up here, so it's going to have to be down just like so. Okay, so how many beavers do we have here? We have six jobs. That's what you're saying. Oh, I see. Okay, and we can manage the distribution as well. Oh, wow. Okay, wow, this is actually very interesting. These ones obviously we can't because we don't have access to any of those resources. And we can manage the export threshold very easily from this panel over here. Well, let's see what they will bring. You're saying there's no goods in stock. What about you? Okay, so they're bringing in food, logs, and do we have some blanks as well? really want to have some planks uh let's have a look resources are here planks oh this is export we want to yeah let's make it a little bit higher we want to send loads of planks over okay so it's pretty cool how they brought in all those resources already now the next thing we really need on this side let me just slow down the time a little bit because we are going to need a couple of bots here and let's say in district 2 i think we're going to need a minimum of uh couple of viewers let's do two for the time being so you guys are working in here hold on a second i don't think okay we can leave one in there now what say we we have 10 jobs over here hmm i see well we might not have enough viewers for our requirements so i didn't want to jump away from this task over here but I do think in order to succeed, we're going to have to do a quick little adjustment here. So our living quarters, they seem to be pretty pretty good so far. Yeah, nothing to really complain about. However, we are going to need a few more beavers. Okay. Platforms, another triple one. Let's see. We can probably place you down just like so. A bit more space over there as well. And then you guys are going to need a bit of access. Platforms, roads, you are all connected up now. So 
please do make this a very high priority. Okay, I think everything should be marked with the with the dark green now. Okay, so whilst that's going, that's going to give us another few few baby beavers. Now, over here, what are we doing? The stairs are done, which is great. The next thing we want in here, besides the the critical infrastructure, let's plan out where the foresters are going to go as well, because they are very, very vital for the operations. So the first forester is going to be right like so. The uh, second one, let's see the reach again. So somewhere in the middle, we're thinking another set of stairs, roads, maybe we just have them at the top over here. So for the time being, uh, something like so. Okay, and another forester, maybe about here. Like there's quite a bit of an overlay or overlap over here. But I do want them to be planting in the other areas as well. So yeah, you know, extra attention right here. I think all these lovely, beautiful flowers along the drought only six days. Okay, so we're fine. We can leave. I'm certain our beavers will be A-OK. -okay. Now, <laughs> injuries, we might want to start treating them soon as well. Because we do have, let's have a look at this, well-being... Healer, only five. Okay, I know we are getting a little bit distracted and trust me, I would love to nothing to do in range. Why don't we pause you for a second? I'd like to try and have a slightly better structure for my episodes, but sometimes you just gotta jump around a little bit. Okay, we got some flowers over here. There isn't a lot, so I don't want to remove any additional space from... Uh, the harvesting zone here. Hold on a second. Trees, this. Yeah, we're really cramming things in here right now, but... No, I think I remember something. Yeah, we did have all these flowers here as well. Okay, good. Glad I remembered, because that's exactly what we want to do. I think the healers were supposed to go somewhere around here let's do one over here okay and then to harvest these flowers what do we have to do gather a flag okay so that's fairly fairly simple and easy what we have to do now is continue harvesting these trees here do we have a staff member as well yes we do but still eight workplaces okay not great but we do have another house which is ready okay that's very good to see now, <laughs> let's have a look before we go back to our log factory. By the way, log numbers are starting to go up, so that's uh, that's great to see. Uh, right, let's fix up this farm as well. I believe we removed some of the potatoes from here. Okay, things are looking pretty good. And to sort of uh, free up a bit more space over there, I noticed that all of our potatoes are actually growing on this side of the map. Or should I say this side of the farms? Uh, right now our grills are here and then we have the storages here as well. Well, that's for carrots, but this one's for grilled potatoes. Another one, and I think there's a couple more there as well. How I think this will be more efficient is if we have this farm, obviously that's already here. But there is also a ton of potatoes. I would like them to start grilling all these things locally. Uh, I don't think we need three, but let's uh, let's start with two first. So here we go. We do need this one to be constructed as well. And let's see if the left ones are for potatoes. This could be... Oh, that, your potatoes already as well. Hmm. Okay, you know what? All of these are going to be potatoes. And you guys are going to be cooking them up and grilling them as fast as you can. Okay, this means somewhere over here. Don't really know where exactly. But let's bring up another storage. You are pretty big. And this should be more for like exports. Actually, hold on a second. If we place you this way, we might just be fine. Yeah, if only that farm was just on a slightly different angle. Okay, let's do it this way. Since our access is over this mountain range over here, we are going to need a ladder... Just like so, connect it up with the roads, and voila, there you go. That's where we are going to store, if only I can find them, the grilled potatoes. And this storage here is set to a supply, which means 
it will send the goods to the other warehouses that request them. Okay, triple the speed again. You guys should be fine. I think we can unpause pretty much everything except this single grill over here. Oh yeah, and let them construct this. So once that is done, that means we can get rid of the storage over here, the grill. Hopefully this one holding carrots as well. And this farm I'd like to place on the, on the water. So let's see if we can just eliminate this quick distraction for ourselves. I really want to get the uh, the log industry going, but sometimes, yeah, there are some other things we need to just check in on. Um, <laughs> another thing I have realized, it was quite silly of me to assume that this one gatherer flag can take care of the chestnut trees and also the maples. For the maples to connect, collect the syrup, we are actually going to need the tapper shack, which we obviously don't have it because we did not check this before however i think we are fine because we can just do some platforms over here and correct our mistake this way uh, well-being is 17 so let's have a look at our log piles yet again you've got nothing to do so let's pause you you're done as well and access wise okay we can finally climb down here let's get another another ladder roads good you seem to have been able to construct pretty much everything over here so we just need some more beavers here actually so migration let's bring someone in increasing you to let's do five five for the time being you're gonna be hold on a second okay there we go nothing to do in range but we're gonna change this right away okay yep that is gonna be a ton ton of trees i hope we can cover this whole area and everything's gonna be accessible for these guys but i guess we shall shall find out very soon another one here oh okay now we're good and we're gonna climb down don't think we need to go all the way there might need a road here maybe we don't i think someone mentioned in the comments as well that well these guys they should be able to run around without the roads and i believe that's true but just for the time being until we are or have verified everything oh yeah that is true so that is something we don't have to worry about which is fantastic i think here we might have to put down some storages perhaps so I don't want to close it off just yet. And something that's a little bit annoying. Okay, so it's not so crazy direct, is it? But okay, so that's going to be a lot of extra trees around this whole area. And everyone does have a job, so that's great as well. They just don't have a house, it seems. Oh no, they're going to start making beaver babies. So maybe, maybe just maybe we do one house for the time being right and there we go probably need a slightly higher priority but yeah we've got water planks other resources food you just don't have entertainment i'm really sorry guys but right now we have other priorities and yeah it probably would be a little bit smarter to get their well-being as high as we can but you know what we're gonna come and revisit this area very soon i just really need those those trees going okay let's just double check the area as well so we got this here you got this and as soon as we have the staircase okay yep i think we have nothing almost nothing to worry about i think we can be quite happy that's gonna give us a lot more sort of like a reserve of logs now looking at this we have 11 jobs all of them are in our og district uh sorry only four let's zero here okay seems we yeah we're okay now with the amount of logs that we have right now it's good but it's not the best so i do think we'd like to expand into this zone as well so what i'll do is 
I'll do pretty much the same thing I did it on the other side. And it seems our food production, yet another overhaul, is complete. I, I mean, it doesn't probably look like much right now. But just um, starting to organize things a little bit better is, uh, is, is always good. So all of those potatoes are going to remain this er in this area. And I'll, and I'll go through all these warehouses as well. Just make sure that we have no... No potatoes in these ones, like this one here. We shouldn't really do any grilled potatoes here. And same in uh, in that one there as well. So let's get all the potatoes here. This one's going to be grilled. These ones are the raw ones. Once they get cooked, they will be delivered across this way. And in the long term, if we want to make this a little bit more efficient, uh, since the farmers are running this way, putting potatoes in, they will go down, grab the potatoes, grill them. Then they have to go back and run around we could make a slightly more direct route in here if we wanted to a uh, kind of two one two just make sure everything is as efficient as we can uh, <laughs> okay i can see a problem we can't really disconnect it i want to place the ladder here that's not gonna work until we make some changes so so okay this is starting to look pretty lovely i'm quite happy with this so far in the future, we can just, if we hide the water real quick, we can climb down from here, cross to the other side. And this is where I would like to start growing some uh, spatter duck. And what was the other crop that we can do here? Oh, the cattail. Okay. Yep, that's definitely something I would like to do. But we can leave the food as it is right now and... Uh, hold on a second. Oh yeah, you're complaining because you don't have any, any good selected. Um, <laughs> you can probably be... Let's have a look. We can uh, we can have some more wheat for the time being, and with you guys, I guess we can do wheat flour. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so that means everything that's ready and produced. This one's offloading it, and we do have one here, but this is for for the bread. We should mark this as obtained. We want to make sure that this warehouse is full of bread all the time. Now that we have some bread here already, I was thinking we could do another one as well. Now, it's not gonna look great for their... Yeah, for the views in here. Because they'll be staring at a pile of... Pile of bread. Or potatoes. So we might want to do this downstairs on this level instead. Let's just place a couple of platforms like so. Then the big ones on top. Oh no, we are, we are going to have to do it on on this side as well. But not to worry. It should be all fairly quick and easy. Okay, let's grab you guys. And you are going to be grilled. Let's do potatoes. Okay, lovely. Now it looks a little unnatural over here. But I feel like in the future, let's see. If the... Hmm. Oh, you're next to a water source. So I don't want you to be here. I think our town center is going to be somewhere in the middle. So perhaps this is the road that everyone's going to be using. Oh. Okay, so if that's the road, maybe some trees on the side, decorations, this might be the new highway. Um, yeah, this building can remain. But you might have to be erased, I'm afraid, sir. Yeah. Okay, we could maybe put it on another set of platforms. Then to all the hospital or the medical beds underneath. Because they can be placed under the platform. So that's good. But okay, let's let you guys construct all of this in here. It's going to take a little bit of time. We should have... Oh no. Yeah, we might still need to do a few more... A few more... Houses perhaps. But okay, yeah. This one needs to be obtained. I want both of those buildings to be full of... Fully cooked bread and potatoes at all times. Grilled potatoes, I mean. Okay, you guys are building this road already as well, which is great. Oh, you've done this one. We can delete it and place another one just like so. Once that is done, we can get rid of the little supportive ladder there. But yeah, fantastic. Okay, they have pretty much demolished the potatoes here. Wow, I am a little bit surprised. But let's have a look at the storage again. So we got 600 potatoes. Grilled ones are at 1,000. So 
Never mind. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Now, how is our hospital improvement going? Not too bad. Blueberry seedlings. I don't think we need you guys. I'm very sorry, but you are going to go. And then we have some dandelions here as well, which is great. But we may, may just expand it a, a little bit. Uh, where were you guys? Okay, there we go. Dandelions. And how about we fill this zone? Okay, we might need to do... Now, I think you have a great location because we can expand it here as well a little bit. And we should be making medicine already, right? So you need water, dandelions, logs. Okay, the next thing you probably hear, need here is um, some storages. Let's do a small warehouse and a small water tank. So, yep, you are going to need to hold some water and... Let's have a look. Dandelions. Okay, I think it is time to check on our forestry as well. Let's see how things are going. The well-being certainly isn't going too well. I mean, we are getting all the foods, but I think it's mostly the entertainment. So let's see what can we do to make their life a little bit better here. First of all, showers. Okay, one can go... One can go here. And I think... That should be sufficient for these guys. <laughs> Rooftop terraces. Well, that's a little bit trickier. If we do another house here, I think we should be fine. But now we have the trees in the way as well. And I guess we do have to figure, figure it out. Let's have a look at what else can we do. Teeth, grindstone. So this is more of a necessity, it seems. Yeah, let's do one over there. I think this might be sufficient for, for our needs. Uh, <laughs> campfire. Okay. Yep, let's give you guys this one as well. And the last thing we'd like to do here is a tiny little shrine just like so. Okay, I think that completes our hunt for the, the well-being. Well, actually, you guys live here. So... Later, we are going to have platforms here because they want some entertainment. Maybe here's where we do the, the stairs and... Yeah, I was thinking to put some decorations above this. And we probably could. So if we look at the uh, decorations one more time, I think we can place you just like so. Another building goes here. Oh yeah, this might be free as well. Same on this corner. What I'm trying to say is... I. It seems I don't really know how to... Where to place things anymore. Okay. Um, beaver statue. Right there. So now I think we're good. Yep. Yeah, two foresters. Should be more than enough. You guys are going to expand this way. I do... I think I do want to keep this road. Or maybe we are going <laughs> to... Now, we want to have some more land in here, obviously. So, let's make sure we are smart from the get-go. Okay, platforms here. We have time to build all this up, so not to worry about this. And over here as well, we can start harvesting already, actually. So, if the road goes from here, that means we are going to need some more platforms on here. That's where the lumberjacks go. And yeah. Okay. Now all we have to do is just rearrange a couple of things. This road could be more direct as well. But I'm not going to change it just yet. Sometimes it's good to leave them A. To make it a little bit, little bit less boxy I guess. But also B. I hope there's other people like myself that get annoyed when things aren't perfectly symmetric so I'm really sorry but yeah we're doing it okay cool so yeah pretty happy with this it's uh you know not a massive build or anything here but it certainly will keep us alive in the future when we are moving into some bigger projects all right and I think uh, having this second district in here is gonna mark the end of this episode as well so it's been interesting to see what the couple of new different buildings are. I'm happy with our forestry so far, the extension to it. 
And uh, as I said many times already before, it's just going to keep us alive when we are trying to make those big, massive construction projects. And uh, yeah, besides the forestry, we have also done... Let's uh, scoot over to the, uh, to the other side real quick. In case you might have jumped ahead a few times and you might have missed, there is also... A slight sort of rearrangement for the for the farming. I'm trying to get rid of as many buildings over there where we can or could be planting uh, food items, uh, carrots, potatoes, wheat, and other th other things. I'd I'd like to use that space for that. So everything, yeah, is going to it has already moved up on this mountain here. Besides that, we have the oh, actually, that's something we have not checked in the shack over here. We are doing some maple syrup now, which means this bakery could be. Could be open and uh, when well, you look at that we have uh, started producing maple pastries at the end of this episode so the very last thing we have in here is we also have medicine so hopefully whenever those beavers get sick they will be treated with medicine as quick as possible so okay i think that's uh, now really the end of the episode so thank you so much again for watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one